The World Health Organization, also known as WHO, recently shared that about 1 in 160 children live under the autism spectrum disorder. Although this subject is no longer taboo, and thanks to advocates, society is becoming more educated about this complex diagnosis. People with ASD still have to deal with discrimination, including unjust deprivation of health care, education, and opportunities to engage and to participate in their communities. This unfair treatment might be linked to autism only being diagnosed in 1911. Even with all the recent studies exploring the disorder, there's still much to discover and understand. But in this video, we bring you a little bit about the pioneer who dedicated his life to making people's lives with what we call autism a more effortless experience. What is autism? When people ask the question, what is autism? They expect an answer that is simple and clear, a concise explanation of what exactly autism is and how to diagnose it. But the answer is more complex. Autism Spectrum Disorder, ASD, is a developmental disability that can cause significant social, communication, and behavioral challenges. Unlike people with Down syndrome who have specific physical features, there's often nothing about how people with ASD look that sets them apart from others. Still, people with ASD may communicate, interact, behave, and learn differently from most other people. There are no specific causes for autism, but the World Health Organization affirms that there is no evidence that vaccines can cause ASD. Eugene Bloller, A Life in Psychology. Bloller was born in a town near Zurich, Switzerland, and was the child of a wealthy farmer. He studied medicine in Zurich, and in 1884, worked with a French neurologist in Paris, and a German psychiatrist in Munich and London. He spent almost 30 years as the director of psychiatry at a leading psychiatric hospital in Switzerland. During this time, Bloller made significant contributions to psychiatry and psychology. He has been described as one of the most influential Swiss psychiatrists. He passed away on July 15, 1939, in his hometown and left a wife, two children, and an enormous contribution to psychology through his work. Bloller's studies on autism. The concept of autism was coined by him in 1911 to describe a symptom of the most severe cases of schizophrenia, a concept he had also created. The term derives from the Greek word autos, which means self, and the English suffix ism. Thus, autism indicated detachment from reality, together with the relative and absolute predominance of the inner life. According to Bloller, autistic thinking was characterized by infantile wishes to avoid unsatisfying realities and replace them with fantasies and hallucinations. Bloller's concepts enabled later researchers, such as Bernard Rimland to study the causes of those disorders and to suggest that abnormal development of fetal brains potentially caused those disorders. There aren't many details on how Bloller conducted his studies or how he analyzed the results, but he opened the door to autism research, which helped make the lives of people with autism easier. And that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with all the people you know who can support someone with a developmental disability. And remember, First Choice Family Services is your information resource for the DSP industry.